One of the most beautiful things that I have as a memory of Tia Chuchas was seeing that, that neon Tia Chuchas Cafe sign in the front of our first space that became the kind of like a, uh, a, the destination spot for a lot of people when they were looking for a place to do poetry and to learn music and to uh, read and meet new artists and see painting by people from their communities. And when we got word that the landlord of that first space was getting ready to pass it on to another tenant without considering the, the beauty we were bringing in it, into the community, um, that was very, it felt like a betrayal. And so one of the things that we did is um, we had to really think hard. Would we give up? Would we let it go? Was that, was that all that was gonna be possible? And we had to really rally ourselves and then really rally the community to not give up, to be resilient as we always have been, and, and just remember that there's always another way and to keep our, our, our mind and our hearts set on, on the bigger things that we need, not just for ourselves, but for, for those who come after us.